Welcome to a monster myth busting session. I'm John from my solar home and I'm a solar professional. I've been doing solar and batteries for the last 15 years. Today, we're going to do some serious solar myth busting. Now, as I bust out the top 10 myths, you will learn if solar can power your electric vehicle or how there is just one way to make money selling solar electricity and how there is just one way to use your batteries to lower your electric bills. So stick around. The first solar myth that I like to debunk is that the government gives you free solar panels. If you see anything like that online or anywhere, it's clickbait. They're just trying to get your information to sell it to a dozen solar companies who can then call you and make life difficult. The government doesn't give you free solar panels. There are some solar programs in which you don't have any out of pocket immediately, but all these solar programs will have a monthly payment associated with them. Solar myth number two, that solar is very expensive. Now this is flat out wrong. If you're paying an electric bill today, then you can afford solar. Of course, solar works best for folks who stay in a single family home and who are homeowners. Today, it's not a good option for renters. Once you go solar, your electric company utility bill goes away. It reduces to 10 bucks a month in most states. You have a new solar electric bill that's usually 30 to 50% lower than what you're paying today for electricity. And beware of solar sales folks who are trying to mislead you or just new solar folks who don't know more who promise you incredible savings. Savings of over 50% a month are a red flag. They're either based on optimistic assumptions or just plain false assumptions. If you want an honest, reliable quote or you want to learn more about the solar program, email me, call, go to my website, mysolarhome.us. Now, before I go to myth number three, Give me a like and subscribe, please. Helps my channel. Much appreciated. Now, solar myth number three is that going solar means you have to go off grid. That's not true. In fact, almost 99% of the solar systems that you see around you are still connected to the grid. Getting solar is like getting a second cable connection or a second telephone connection. You can work with Verizon and you can work with T-Mobile. Same thing with solar. You have utility electricity and you have solar electricity. You have them both. Solar myth number four, solar panels can still power your home during a power outage. That is incorrect. When you have a power outage, a solar system automatically shuts off. That's called rapid shutdown and this is required by the law. The problem is, if your solar panels continue to work during an outage, they're going to be shooting out electric power into the grid when there is an outage. And if there's an unlucky utility repairman working on a pole next to your home, he might get electrocuted. And that's why, by law, your systems are shut off during an outage. So solar panels do not work during an outage. Now, if you want your panels to work during an outage, the only way you can do that is to get a battery along with your solar panels. During the outage, you'll get power from your battery and no power goes out to the grid. Solar myth number five, you're gonna make a ton of money selling electricity back to the electric company. Flat out wrong. There are two problems that prevent you from making those millions. The electric company rarely lets you make a solar system that makes more energy than you use. So usually you have very little, if any, extra electricity to sell to the electric company. The second thing is, even if you do make some extra energy and sell it to the utility company, they pay you peanuts for it. When you buy electricity from the utility company, you pay retail rates. But when you sell to them, you get wholesale rates. You buy 20 cents from the electric company, they buy it from you at 2 cents. Peanuts. The electric companies hate homeowners who go solar. It's simple. Somebody who has an average bill of say 130 bucks a month 
will pay the electric company around $40,000 in the next 20 years. Yes, those monthly electric bills really add up. Now, if you go solar, the electric company has lost $40,000 of revenue. Now, to add insult to injury, when you sell electricity back to them, they have to pay you. So, the only way to make money selling solar electricity is if you put up a solar farm. That means acres and acres of land with solar panels on them. And when I'm saying acres, I'm talking about more than 10 acres at least. Then you can supply energy directly to the grid and then they pay you better rates. Solar myth number six is buying batteries to lower your electric bills. Batteries do not lower your electric bills. Batteries don't generate electricity and they cannot reduce your electric bills. They just store electric energy for use at a later time. Solar panels, on the other hand, generate electricity and thus they can reduce your electric bills. But there is an exception. States like California have something known as time of use or TOU electric billing. The cost of electricity goes up in the evenings to peak rates. And here, a battery can help reduce electric bills. You top up your battery during the daytime using low cost electricity. In the evening, shut off utility electricity, use your battery's power, and avoid paying them peak electricity. Solar myth number seven solar panels don't work at night or in the rain or snow. And that one's partially correct. Solar panels don't work, but they do work at lower capacity during bad weather. But it's still kind of a myth. Now, during the daytime, your solar panels make a lot of excess energy. All that excess energy goes to your electric company and they give you credit for that. When you use electricity at night, you get electricity from your electric company, but they won't charge you for it because they'll offset it against those credits that you give them during the day. The only time this doesn't work too well is if you're in a state like California that does not give you full credit for excess solar electricity. This practice of the electric company giving you full credit for all the electricity that is exported by your solar system is called net metering. Now, during bad weather, panels might work at 20 or 30% capacity or sometimes even lower. But the good news is that solar designers take into account bad weather days and design a system that has enough capacity to take care of those bad days. So it will make more than enough energy to take care of your needs throughout the year. Solar myth number eight is you cannot power stuff with solar. For example, you cannot charge your EV with solar. You may not be able to heat your pool with solar. Blah, blah, blah. Completely incorrect. You can use solar electricity to power anything and everything in your home. Your EV, your pool, even Bitcoin mi mining. I mean everything. Most single family homes in the US have enough roof area for solar panels to power pretty much everything in their homes. Whatever they're using electricity for today, the solar panels should be able to do that. Now homes with a lot of shade or with a lot of dormers and obstructions that reduce the area available for panels may not be able to get to 100% solar powered home because they may not have enough room for solar panels. But if you have enough solar panels, you can power anything. Solar myth number nine, solar will damage your roof or void your roof warranty or cause roof leaks. Again, that's incorrect. Today's solar system installations are actually engineered with vacuum seal flashings. They will not allow a roof leak when they're installed for any horror stories on leaks are remnants of the days when plumbers, landscapers, and handymen were, in, were installing solar panels because of the huge profit margins. They would use cork and elfi to install, and those would certainly leak after a few years. Most solar companies will give you a 25-year roof penetration warranty when they put solar in your roof. They are 100% confident that your roof is not going to be damaged or cause a leak. Solar myth number 10, solar installations are complicated 
and require a lot of maintenance. Actually, not at all. Solar installations, when done by a properly trained solar installation company, are fairly easy, fairly cookie cutter. They do it in a day or two days at the most, and they'll do an excellent job. Doesn't take a lot of time. Standard. The approvals associated with the solar from your township, the electric company, the state, and other authorities having jurisdiction, they do take a long time. That's why in many states it might take you three to four months before the panels are up and ready to go. Solar panels really don't need cleaning unless you're in a really dusty area. Otherwise, the regular weather is enough to keep them clean. If you see a sheen of dust in them, wash with regular water is okay, but I don't see this in most areas in the United States. In terms of service issues, you will have some failures like an inverter requiring a replacement during the 25 years of your warranty. Solar systems go on years without any requirement of maintenance. Warranty issues are usually taken care of by your solar installation company without a problem. It's pretty much a maintenance fee product that you can forget about it and continue to enjoy your low and nothing electric bills for the next 25 to 30 years. Reach out to me for your solar options. Visit my website, mysolarhome.us to set up a consult or just email or call me. I hope you enjoyed this video. You have a great day. Do like and subscribe.